Hi, I'll show you how to make your own small solar station, with which you may charge phones, smartphones, tablets, cameras, GPRS devices, any kind of devices with USB or 5V charging adapter. The main elements we need are the solar cells. As far as a DIY of a real silicon crystal is quite costly, I recommend you to buy a ready-made one. They don't cost a fortune. We are going to need 12 modules. Size doesn't matter at all, choose any. The larger are the cells, the more power they produce. For example, the solar cells like these generate 1 ampere. They are perfect for one device charging. And these batteries provide 4 amperes power. They will do if you want to charge 2 or 3 devices simultaneously. The next necessary thing we need is the body. I've made it out of two pieces of hard plastic and fastened them with two hinges to make it more compact. I've also reinforced its borders with the same plastic for better protection. This measure prevents the sound panel from damages. Thus, its transportability is improved. As a better version, I've tried to make the body out of soft plastic. As a result, the cells almost turned into rubbish. However, they were restored throughout soldering. Now let's have a look at the assembling process. The cells must be soldered in series. One by one, each in its turn, I take the wire and solder it to the upper part of the first cell and another edge of the wire to the second cell, fastening it to its outer metallic covering. Then I do the same thing with all other cells, soldering them together in series. If you do it all right, you will get exactly what I was talking about, the power source we need for charging USB or like USB devices. This type of assembly has a nice benefit, we don't need a charge controller. It means that we can source a device directly without any damage from the voltage. Now you are watching me gluing the solar cells with a thermoplastic adhesive in solid beads, thus there is space between them. It's highly important, this will make sure that cells won't crack even if the body curves a little. It means the construction will be flexy and sustainable. Keep in mind the fact that one single crack stops the whole system from working. The elements on the panel mustn't touch each other, otherwise there will be a shortcut circuit. If you don't like soldering yourself, you can also buy some ready-made parts of the construction or an entirely made system. If you do so, all what's left is to attach a charging cable. You may also use a waste one. Another option is to attach a smartphone charging cable directly. You may also use a waste one. As you can see, eventually, this battery is ready to use. It's light and doesn't take much space. High quality stuff for little money, but there is one more thing must be done. Our little invention is to be tested under real circumstances. There is one trick I use in purpose to squeeze out its maximum potential. You see, this smartphone needs more than 1 ampere voltage, but our solar panel can provide just 1 ampere. Consequently, the charging process will go not that fast. There is one surprising fact. When a device is half charged, it demands less than 1 ampere. Therefore, the station accumulates some extra energy. The power bank attached to the solar panel consumes entire generated energy. So, the power bank won't let the energy be generated in vain. The energy saved this way may come in handy in a cloudy day or if you desperately need some energy. My own hiking experience proves that this small solar station can easily provide energy enough to charge the devices of three people. Once it was raining hard for three days long. Despite this fact, the stored energy met our needs. On the one hand, we had to be a bit saving, but on the other hand, when it became more sunny, it took us just a few hours to charge all our devices. Its usage is not limited by camping only. You may also find it useful living in distant areas, going fishing or in a desperate situation where there is no electricity. Soon, I'll show you how to make your own miniature solar power plant. Just keep an eye on my channel. It will produce 220 volts. Subscribe not to look over it. Hey guys, if you want me to make videos faster, subscribe and support me on Patreon. I'm waiting for your help. Link is in description.